bottom white stairs. Doki taking a lot of damage. He's been sitting beneath that freezer hatch, trying to fire shots up at the attackers up above. Finally, he's punished for it and forced off. But again, it's Uno who's really doing the heavy lifting for G2's chances in this round. He's still holding white stairs, but a double at the bottom. Alamau and Doki both cut down. While Uno might remain, FaZe have a very solid advantage, compounded more so by Cyber's vertical play, I believe still up above. Uno cuts him down through the hatch. Vita King able to get the bomb down. Uno still fighting back, going for the retake spot. Somebody's just a second too late. Has to prone through the freezer wall. Now Virtue has to fight across the bomb site to get round one for G2. And they have the vertical control? No, they do not because FaZe completely shutting out G2 in this round. They forced Virtue's hand, and he can't even play it. Into the two versus two. Vita King will go down, but they know where that other player is. It's only Cyber, though, and Cyber was playing the window, Carter. That's so very unfortunate. He's gonna have to try and reassess this. Even though Virtue and Uno are both quite low, he's more than likely gonna have to get gifted something to make the most out of this situation. Excellent trade from G2 on the site there, though. Cyber does have to work through this 1v2 with a mirror window in his way. He knows somebody could be playing behind there. Oh, uh -oh. very quick down. Does he know Uno? Does he can see the mirror window. He knows he's there now. Okay. Now we have a bit of a gambit on our hands. Virtue could relay in until he spots the head of the Mira. They both anticipate the rotation. Oh, Another lengthy pre-fire. Oh, oh, oh. Uno put to very low HP, running like hell back to the bathroom. And Cyber sends his blood in the water. He's got a beat on Punches. his tray. Punches the Mira window, oh. but Uno finishes him off. 40 seconds or 30 seconds left. If you have a good buck, he's going to apply a lot of pressure to anybody playing inside of the site. And that's why you see G2 playing inside a pillar. Oh, he didn't. Oh no. This is what I'm talking about, guys. These small moments, these lay round moments when FaZe get anxious, feel that they need to move, oh, and they this. go drone. These players in key positions. Doki ends up finding one. Sure, he's traded out, but he's solidified oh. the advantage. Never mind. Souls doesn't just find one, it's two that go the Thatcher's way. Ten but seconds. Alamau with 10 seconds, still inside of the site, starts rotating away. Virtue falls as well. The round's gone completely on its head, and Benja finds us first. But the, as the bomb has gone down, the diffuser on the floor, Benja will push forward. KDS has that vertical angle and can shut it down. Gotten rid of the buck. There's no more soft destruction, all except for Alamau with that secondary bailiff and Benja with the secondary super shorty, but it's not going to happen as fast as it would with that skeleton key. So now, very minimal time remaining for them to try and solve this puzzle. And then there's Handy playing inside of Hell. Oh, Virtue just pushes up, but he doesn't check the corner. This is still a common angle sometimes for defenders to play to try to catch the attack as they drop down. So I want to see if they still check it anyway. 15 seconds left, and nobody's dropped down yet. We are using every second available, and he finds him. Virtue ends up checking the position Handy's playing. He's got a smoke. Age del yes, detonating. The final one goes out. KDS is able to cut down Benji Master, and everything Virtue accomplished, Alamo pushes in and falls. Excellent re-clearance of Hell by G2, but the utility still firmly gives FaZe that round. Press from Handy, a 1v5 that stopped Benja and G2's oh. entry. Well, Virtue will find one. Vita King down, a nice shot indeed, but they can even pick up Cyber with the time and space remaining. Indeed. If Virtue is able to get this going, this will definitely be one of the ones for history, especially up against FaZe. Especially for Virtue. One versus four. Low HP on KDS. And he's going to go down here, but this is going to require a lot more heavy lifting. This R4C, we've said before, and we'll say it again. It can make magic happen in the moment. Yokai out here. Good info. He knows at least one person going to be occupying angles. Trying to dip and dash here around Freezer. So don't worry about that player over inside of VIP. Who's going to give him the ISO? Neither is the answer. Cyber works his way in behind on the sink angle and will catch him from the window. Crouch through, but they don't have the standing hole they wanted. Yeah, we have to see this. Oh, no, you're absolutely right. They're going to have to use the left-hand side of this. It has some breach. And yeah, you might be able to crouch through that as well, but definitely not the breach that they were going for. It looks like it's going to be a horseshoe plant here, Carter. That's what they're looking to try and grab. Got Benja okay. getting flirted with here, but it's going to be Doki that takes down one. Okay, G2. The moment has now arisen. You have a minute remaining to try and deal with the onslaught of FaZe. There's no way we go to overtime like this. Surely not. Everything is going against G2. It was a 4v4. FaZe at all the angles, but now they've suddenly brought it back. Vita King misses the initial swing. G2 have the entry in the prep. They've now made their way in. If he covers, if Doki can cover this plant, if Benja can get that kill, how in the goddamn are they in a post plant right now? For me, what the hell are G2 
you doing? But the big issue is, Carter, is what risk can you take? Really nothing. You two have to ask for the good graces of the Siege Gods to try and align the stars for you as well, just like it happened to G2 in the last round. G2 are flying blind and they've placed their faith in chance. And it's on their side at the moment to get us to overtime, to get us to this next round. Handy's got the lineup, but not through the wall. Vita King with another. He's got the close angle. There goes Doki, but one HP. Surely Virtue, he's 101 on this site before. Surely he can win it. Intel spots him. So he's got to go for the rotate. He does not have Diffuser. Vidiking can maybe contest oh, no! it. He walks into a Frost mat. Can he get himself back up? Vidiking finishes him off. They're flying blind and they trip over themselves. Match point in hand, a 2v4 for FaZe. There's a singular drone existing on this map somewhere. Better be it's, important. And it's the Alamal's name. I don't know if he goes back to it, and he will. It's all the way down in Whiskey. He's gonna drone, more than likely, I would say, Helldor here, of all things. They actually have a rotation here, so let's make his life a little bit easier. He wants to at least find some clearance for them, and he has indeed. Benja's gonna work his way in. They mark the goo, and the case is gonna be on Ooh. Doki. Benja, he can't find anybody, Carter. It's getting antsy. Doki will get one onto Handy. They found Benja, though. It's down into the two versus two. Doki with 20 kills. Alamel will pick up Vita King. It's up to KDS inside of dining. They're buried down on his location. And Doki with 21 goddamn kills. Nated just yet. Remember, Alamo, as you can see, he's been playing on the main stairs this whole time. So if a hole's opened up in front of him, this position goes from relatively safe to very, very difficult to escape in a matter of seconds with one button press from Vita King. Uno going for the rotate. He's the guy with the diffuser. And that leaves Alamo still in his position over by main stairs. He waits. Waiting for Uno to rotate. Flash goes over, blinds the mirror window. No rotations just yet. He shoots the cam. Again, his position is confirmed right here. Vidiking C4 finally detonates, but oh. it ends up giving way to Alamau. A quick re-peek, a 3K for the Finca. But Handy goes for the retake. The beepers give away his position. He gets the flame. The sound cue falls on deaf ears. A 1v2. We are so back. And nobody breaking away with the lead just yet. The fuse are not in G2's hands, though. They'll likely take the next 20 seconds or so to figure things out. Carter, we want patience out of KDS here for FaZe's sake. If he's patient on this top floor, there's a lot that can be done. I don't know how well he'll be able to hear that C8 all the way across. We have to worry about the clearance now. We have one working their way in from Archives. Uno's here to assist Alamo on this clear. They don't exactly know where this player is, and they're actually going to try and push through onto Armory to Attackers get this case picked up. Uno on very, very low HP, and oh my goodness. That timing is truly incredible. On such low time, FaZe doesn't have to worry all that much. And those two will completely switch positions. Oh, yeah. The top East player able to pick up Uno. Might find two. Vitaking shut down in the process. FaZe, their defense holding strong. This is a great setup as well for FaZe. Still maintaining that top floor control. Cyber bringing himself into the fold here too. Virtue's gonna make an adjustment all the way back up to Vents. And he more than likely knows that somebody's gonna be on this window. He's flirting with her just a second, but Handy's gonna go down. Three versus three now. After Uno will pick him up from the custom space. He's worked his way into detention. He's actually right on the precipice of being able to have an opportunity to plant if he can find a home for this dang thing. A nice oh, shot oh, on oh. the souls now as well as the Fragmite has came to play. KDS. Can you get it done? He cannot. Alamau with a beautiful shot out of the R4C will finally pick up another round for G2. andy has got the intel though. Nice little Z ping from that Monty. Goes for the spray transfer top main and forces Alamo back. Further steps retreating down the main stairs. Virtue the only one actually on the bomb site, but that's fine. Alamo is at his strongest on the Solus down below. This is a good rotation, forced it might be, but one that still might win them the game with Virtue facing almost insurmountable pressure. Handy's able to cover the cross for Vidiking to move to an indestructible floor to get this diffuser down. Alamo might be able to spot it, but yup, they've got to rotate. Handy's there waiting and we're in the post plant. They know Alamo's coming up. They know the Solus was going to be below, so they'll watch these staircases. He starts to back up, spots the Monty. Do they know he's crossed? Handy's ready for it, at least. Opening gambit on the attack goes FaZe's way. They've got the widest lead we've seen in this series so far. 
He'll work his way back in through break, and he takes down his single member of FaZe. Oh, oh those might be the biggest missed shots inside of a round we've seen so far. KDS, he knows where Doki is, but Virtue will find him, and it's all down to Handy. Beginning Attackers and end, recovered their diffuser. we started this map 0-0 zero, zero with a handy 1v2. He finds himself in the same position with 10 seconds left to give us a map left. three. Goes for the plant, falls off to go for the pick. C4 goes wide. Five it's not intended to, to get kills, but G2 have wasted enough time. No successful clutch this time. G2 on time. Still match point, but just one round closer to a, on a very long path. Doki spotted. Zping goes out. Will Souls take the engagement? Will he expose himself? Knows he's still there. Goes for the fight. Doesn't secure it. But Doki's put in a difficult spot. He heals himself all the way back up, oh. but he's got prone behind the desk. Simply too much pressure to deal with. Not Doki's fault. That was a triple pinch from FaZe. And KDS breaks open the wall. Rips Uno's life away from him. The soul leaves his body as the G2 advantage is quickly and quickly escaping into the rear view mirror. Souls with a third. We'll quiet down for just a second. And as Alamau creeps up, he gives away his position. Three and nine, make it three and 10. A flawless round for FaZe as G2's pick was anything but comfortable. It's that drone in through. And do remember, this is a basement offense. So as of right now, what FaZe really just trying to do is trying to keep things a little widespread, stay in the face of G2, delay this time, especially around these stairwells where it's a little bit more applicable. You can be safe, you can play on the stairwell, and then just rotate back down in good timing. There's one consistent thing that both of these teams oh. have done a great job at. I was going to say, doing damage to the Intel game, and no way! Doing damage to G2 spirits! Somehow a two-piece out of thin air puts Doki and Virtue on their back feet. And remember that lack of drones I mentioned? Well, Virtue and Doki have none in their pockets. Doki's got the Inox, but doesn't have a chance. A flawless round to end map two and a flawless beginning for FaZe on the decider. Tilly, a small amount of angles being held. Absolutely. And, well, look at this. What Uno know? just vaulted on into that widow. No Ying on the board. And down goes the diffuser. 5v3 now established for G2. Handy's got a vault down below and try to take some fights outside of the breach. Two different players, one spotted, but no headshot for the alibi's efforts. It's the second, make that the second kill for Handy. Three attempts, two out of three ain't bad, but it's all FaZe have to fight against G2 at the moment in the post plan. EE1D goes out the final one for Doki. Freezes them only for a second. There is a little bit of intel going Souls' way, but G2 are playing this so passively. They even got the intel for the close swing. Just a clinical post plant at the moment for G2, and a crossfire to end it. And now they have full blue stairs control. Handy and Souls both go down, and G2 looking to claim the lead again. Looking to claim the lead further. Benjamaster almost spins on KDS, but the retreat works, and Alamau going hunting, looking to recover but not press the advantage. He can hold the angle, put down a drone. They've got the intel on him as well. This isn't strictly necessary. We know it's only a Wamai, but as he walks wow. into Alamau's sights, who's he to look a gift horse in the mouth? Vidiking 2 drops down. Alamo's like, you want to come at me? You want to give me another? You want to feed the beast? Maybe I'll bite. And indeed he will. 2K for Alamau, 3K for Doki. G2 reclaim their lead after dropping the basement bomb site. I don't exactly know how that ended up breaking down. With 30 seconds remaining, FaZe have got to find this accelerator. Beta King sprints in. Oh, but he's cut down by Benja. I remember seeing that plant spot when FaZe played this map against DZ all the way three months ago, and I think Benja might have as well. A quick free fire as he sprints out the door. KDS gets the trade though, so 4v4, but Cyber in a similar position to Vidiking. Especially with the Guman giving away his position. Handy might get the kill, but Cyber's gotta get this bomb down with G2 players covering. Virtue able to find another, but the coverage from FaZe is good enough. G2 on the retake, not working out so far. Benja down and Alamau, one bullet remaining, two finished off very quickly. And so we leave it to Virtue, whose feet are very likely exposed if KDS wants to take this fight, he does. 
A lot of low HP phase oh. players. C4 goes out, and it only does the smallest inconsequential no. amount of damage to Cyber. Soul shuts down Alamau, and Doki, a defeated man on the vertical, must do his best on the same floor as his opponents. Look at how low HP phase are, though. He's got one. The MPX might not do a lot of damage, but if he spots these players, if he can just land a few shots, an inconsequential amount in the grand scheme of things, he'd make it a 4v4. He's moving towards the Diffuser. He knows the IQ is behind this pillar. He needs to get this kill to react in time. Slowly falling back. KDS now down, but look at how patient FaZe are playing. They know it's Doki. He needs to make the move. Doki who needs to push forward. Doki who falls to Cyber. Vita King's already worked his way down inside of Animus. Team there and before. I think, and I think we've gotten this right on this one, Carter. More than likely going to be a plant trying to go down inside of Tank. Everybody alive with sub 50 seconds remaining. This is about to be insane. Yeah, Benja Doki waiting so patiently, but all the kills oh are going phases way. KDS with a double to secure their lead. The flank completely shut oh. down. The anchors completely demolished. Uno put to one HP on death's door. Phase going in for the coup de gras. But a flashbang in hand gives Cyber away. But the round is still only phases to win. Cyber trying to build up some new angles, trying to make sure there's nobody downstairs to try and prevent this plant. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Doki, he's gonna try and run up over top, but he can't do it. Phase into the post plant. Nitro sells out. It deals serious damage to Doki. It's a four versus four, but G2, you only have 35 seconds. So little time left to try and figure this out. FaZe might have the angles. They've got the advantage too. Doki on one HP goes for the run out. In the grand final of day six, FaZe do the unthinkable. They send G2, the reigning champions, to the lower bracket where W7M, the heirs apparent, await them.